This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the map borders. I had one patron ask me about this, so let's create a window. Uh, by the way, just ignore that it's laggy. I'm um, rendering another window in the background. <coughs> Uh, because I'm doing this all uh, so fast right now because I'm going on vacation so I want to schedule at least two videos while I'm there um, so yeah uh, today we're gonna be talking about uh, borders how can you create map border well there is a one way and that's blocking volume so if you go to the volumes if you don't see this place actors go here and click on place actors panel and you're gonna see it so the one way of creating those uh, systems where you have map border is by uh, using blocking volume and we can use it like that you can simply make it here you can make it here here as well so just basically uh, making a cube out of our map um, I'm doing this all fast because I don't want to waste so much time uh, designing it. Uh, I just want to showcase you. So, right now around us there is a blocking volume. And we can test this. If I go and jump, I cannot. If I go there and jump, I cannot. So, uh, I'm getting blocked by the blocking volume. So, this is one way of creating the borders. As you can see, the player cannot go through. That's one way. But we can also do it the other way. What we can also do is, let's just do that. What we can do now is we can basically just go ahead and create another actor. Like that. And now we can go inside of there. First thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add simple box collision. So if I go right here and if I size it, I can size it uh, however I like. Oh my god, it's so laggy because I'm rendering with in the background. I can do it something like this. Now this trigger box can be pulled in the world. Obviously for me right now it's very small, um, but um, just um, you can size it how you like, right? Like that. Like that. I'm just gonna do it very fast right now. I'm just showing you the examples. I can also do it like that. I'm just duplicating those. If you're wondering, I just hold Alt and uh, move. So, right now we have these trigger boxes uh, around our map. And this trigger box can have specific uh, stuff when we overlap with it. So, right click on the box, add event, on component begin overlap. We can fire what we want from here. We can, for example, just print string it and say hello. To check if that works, let's go ahead and it's gonna say hello. So we can basically now add event for the death, for example. Uh, later on in the game, when you have your events, you can just call the death here. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna just uh, just um, gonna print string again, saying you died. Very simple, uh, because I don't have the event for that, right? But you would just plug the event for that, that, and that's how you make your character die. Very simple. <clears throat> um, you can also just do it once, right? Uh, do once. And once you fire that event for the dead, you can reset it. This is completely optional. So this is the one way of doing stuff. Um, what we can also do here is we can teleport player to specific location. So 
how can we do that? We can go to our player uh, character in the third person blueprints in my template is right there and I can create a simple interface uh, let me just create blueprint interface if you are not familiar with interfaces I recommend you watching my new video about it uh, it's two videos uh, before this one so check it out if you don't understand interfaces so call it BPI character and let's say um, teleport character to the spawn just like that so if we implement this interface here right now we will get this event here which gonna give us option to teleport the character to the spawn and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna set actor location and actor being us self character and the new location will be a location where we want to teleport the player uh, in our case we can just um, get this location here so we can copy this actually 900 1110 and z is going to be that and we can print string here that it works and uh, we can sh say whoosh magic and now from the trigger box we can call this teleport character to the spawn and since it's nested in the player character the target is going to be get player character. So compile and save now. And if we try to overlap, as you can see, it's uh, bringing us back to the magic, uh, to the, not to the magic, to the spawn. And look, it teleports back to the spawn. So we can either kill player when he is out of the boundaries, when uh, he uh goes out of map we can also teleport him uh, and we can also block him so we went through three methods and i hope you're gonna make it fitting for your game uh, and that was all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye